love our trees here in Vancouver, but there is one particular tree in the West End that one woman says is in danger of being cut down, and she wants to save it. Now, her efforts came to us as part of a special uh, CBC Vancouver news series called What's Your Story, where you pitch to us the stories that matter most to you. Tina Lovegreen brings us this one. I drive up the street and I look and it's there and it, it makes my heart feel good. Catherine Lorient has a soft spot for this old maple tree on Hornby Street. She says it's one of the last of the old trees dotting the neighborhood. But in a few months, it will be taken down. And in its place, Vancouver's third tallest residential building. Concrete walls and 55-story buildings, they aren't, there's no humanity in them. Trees, ironically, uh, they make us more human. Catherine says the tree has sentimental value and she fears what downtown will look like when all the old houses and trees are gone. It's neighborhoods disappearing. Now, if you can't save the houses, why can't you save the trees? She's talked to the city and the developer. She's even started an online petition in an effort to save the tree. These 100-year-old homes on the property are also slated to be demolished. But behind these boarded walls, it's a whole nother world. Residents inside, many who've lived there for years, are getting ready to say goodbye. I sat here my, for the last 10 years making heaps of decisions about my life. This tree and I have gone a long way together, that's for sure. Michelle Rose plans to take a seedling from the tree and replant it in her next home. That tree has to, to be removed. The developer behind the new multi-tower luxury condo project says there's no way to save the tree. That means so much to the neighborhood. One of the towers will go right on top of where the tree is currently rooted. Keeping the tree would cause the building to be set back too far from the street. Question the validity of that retail and, and also that the city likes to have what they call running streetscape and that's what they'd like Longhorn be. The city has already given the green light for rezoning and permits. So despite Catherine Lorient's best efforts, the tree will be coming down. The developer says a number of new trees will be planted in its place. I know this tree is slated to be destroyed. I feel sick to my stomach a bit every day. Tina Lovegreen, CBC News, Vancouver. Not always easy to stand in the way of development. Now, uh, we are still looking for more stories, so if you want to hear your story being told, drop us a line at mylocalstory at cbc.ca or send us a message on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram. Just be sure to use the hashtag mylocalstory.